from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Friday, October the 26th, 2018. U.S. Special Representative for International Negotiations Jason Greenblatt is returning to Israel next week. The Times of Israel said the White House told them that this trip reflects the administration's commitment to productive engagement, as well as the value it places on understanding the situation on the ground, especially amid recent tensions, presumably referring there to calming the situation in Gaza. Greenblatt is expected to meet with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The rest of his agenda has not yet been made public. And in Gaza today, violent riots resumed at the security fence. Thousands of Palestinians took part burning tires, throwing rocks and explosives at Israeli soldiers who responded with riot dispersal measures and live fire when necessary. There were also attempts to break down the border fence. The Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry claimed that five Palestinians were killed in the riots and several dozen wounded. A number of incendiary devices were also sent over the fence from Gaza, sparking several fires on the Israeli side. And Prime Minister Netanyahu is back in Israel today after a visit to Oman, the first by an Israeli leader to the Gulf nation in over two decades. Netanyahu's office said the Prime Minister's visit is a significant step in implementing the policy outlined by Prime Minister Netanyahu on deepening relations with the states of the region while leveraging Israel's advantages in security, technology, and economic matters. And a joint statement from Israel and Oman said the two leaders discussed ways to advance the peace process in the Middle East, as well as several matters of joint interest regarding the achievement of peace and stability in the Middle East. Israel sent a team of rescuers to help Jordan after devastating flash floods left over 20 Jordanians, most of them children, dead. The team, which included helicopters and medical specialists, deployed at the Jordanian government's request to help in search and rescue efforts after a school bus was swept away in the flooding on the Jordanian side of the Dead Sea. This past April, 10 Israeli students also died in flash floods on the Israeli side of the Dead Sea, and Israel extended its deepest condolences to the people of Jordan on this tragedy. Over 100 members of a banned neo-Nazi group marched in Finland this past weekend. The Nordic Resistance Movement, or as they are known in Finland, the PVL, marched through Helsinki on Saturday. There is a court ruling banning the PVL from the country, but as the appeal period has not yet expired, the group still has permission to march. Last year, the group marched through the streets of Sweden on Yom Kippur, and the World Jewish Congress has a petition calling on the Swedish government to ban the group, as well as similar neo-Nazi organizations in the country. A little-known story of Holocaust heroism is now the Netherlands' submission for Oscar consideration. The Resistance Banker won the Netherlands' National Award for Best Film this year and is hopeful that the Academy will recognize it as well. It tells the true story of Walraven van Hall and his brother Heisbert, who funded the Dutch resistance against the Nazis and saved hundreds of Jews. And we end our newscast today wishing a hearty mazel tov to now IDF Corporal Yahya Mahamid. If you recall, Yahya, who is an Israeli Arab Muslim Zionist and works with the Israel Education Organization Stand With Us, was interviewed last December by Mark Golub here on JBS, speaking about his Israel advocacy. Yesterday, the IDF shared a video from Yahya's recent completion of an eight-month advanced training course in the Nahal Infantry Brigade, a combat unit of the IDF, earning his unit's beret. We wish him the very best of luck. When I stood on the ceremony alongside the brothers that I had been training with for the last eight months, I was proud to accept the responsibility of standing at the borders and protecting my country, Israel. What made me fall in love with Israel was the resilience of its people, and I'm proud to be part of that people. And I'm proud to be me, an Israeli, Arab, Muslim, IDF soldier. 
Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Friday, October the 26th. Live Shabbat services are coming up at 6 o'clock from New York City's Central Synagogue, followed by the Yamin Ord Youth Choir in concert. At 8, prize-winning Israeli author David Grossman speaks at the 92nd Street Y. At 9, it's the film Beyond Eruv. At 10.30, it's Musica with Israeli singer Asaf Avidan. And coming up right after this newscast tonight at 5.30, a look at this week's Torah portion. And that's the JBS News Update for Friday, October the 26th, 2018. I'm Tisha Bader. Shabbat Shalom.